Hey, what is up people? It is your boy Johnny. In today's video, we're going to be teaching you how to update your 8-bit Doe controller for the Nintendo Switch 2. So one of the things that I want to mention right off of the bat is that if you bought one of these things in the past for your Nintendo Switch, it may not be compatible for the Nintendo Switch 2 anymore. So you have to actually update it with your USB-C cord that comes with the controller. And this might actually be a problem with certain controllers in the future um, if the third party does not update the controllers because the 8-bit Doe um, had this issue for some reason. Or I may be wrong. It probably just needed an update for this specific controller. So we're going to go ahead and download the software on the website. Uh, as you guys can see, this is the 8-bit Doe website. Uh, we're going to get the upgrade tool, which I will personally leave a link in the description where you can get this tool so you guys don't have to worry about actually getting the tool anymore. Um, and as you guys can see right here, once you get it, you'll see that you'll have to extract it. So if you have WinRAR, or you can just use the Windows one and extract it to its own folder. Uh, so you don't have to worry about none of that. Alright, so it'll give you several different options as you guys can see. Try to find the model you have. Uh, most of them already received an update, so you just have to find the model that you have. Uh, personally, I have the SN Pro... 30 I believe is this one the SN30 plus or this one the SN30 Pro which is I uh, have a Genki version or Genkai version of it but I think it's the same one so I think this is the same one as this yeah this is the same one the SN30 Pro um, is the one I have and they already released an update for it as well you're gonna click update and it's gonna say updating make sure to have it connected via USB and you should see the line there getting updated um, and as the log it tells you right here it says added support for switch 2 so that's the thing that has the support for the switch 2 personally I never use these controllers this is the first one I got thanks to the company Genkai that actually went ahead and sent me one so yeah this is the first time that I actually had it so it says update is complete alright your controller should be seen as the update is complete and now it should be compatible with the Nintendo Switch um, 2. So we have our Nintendo Switch 2 here, which I am going to go ahead and turn it on right now. And we're going to go ahead and pair it. See if everything works how it's supposed to. Remember on the Nintendo Switch, you have to go into the change. Um, what's it called? You have to go into the change and change grip order or something it's really weird I don't understand why it has to be like that but you have to go into that section in order for you to be able to update it or pair it so it's it's kind of weird I don't, I don't understand why don't ask me why I just don't know alright so we're gonna go ahead and do that and as you guys may know uh, if you're pairing your controller differently um, usually you have to remember it's like the start button you have to press the power button and for the switch one as well and then the light should come on all right no so that's actually just to switch it in the switch mode all right so i had a brain fart but once you have the controller in the switch mode all you're basically going to do is go into change grip in order on the nintendo switch and you're gonna press the sync button which is right here on the controller and it should work as you guys can see it i already have it linked into the controller so it's working it's working fine so yeah just make sure to hit the sync button and it should work um, it wasn't working before for me, but once I was able to update it, I was able to sync it with my Nintendo Switch 2. 